to another uh, module of uh, SND Precision. And in this module, we're gonna talk about um, uh, QML because QML uh, is part of our strategy, is part of the things that uh, we look in the market uh, most of the time, and we try to understand how is the market playing, how do we take our entry, because so many people, they believe, um, like, market is just buying because it's need to buy. There will always be a valid reason of why market is buying. But it's not like market is only buying from the QML. There is a lot of entries that we're going to look at. How do we take our entries? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also uh, share that one to be like uh, a best topic for us. So for this one, we're going to talk about the QML. And uh, I'm just going to draw some of the QML first. Uh, the first one is going to be a bearish QML. You see... Let's say market is going to the upside, then market make a IRI. Then market pull to the downside, then market give you a higher low. So what do you expect next? You're expecting market to come and run this higher point. Mm -hmm. Because if you compare from your range, this is your range. So market created this, uh, sorry, market started from here, create the eye. This was our range. Then we try to look where is all the liquidity inside here. Like, if you understand about the range, you must go and watch the video of the range again, then understand it properly so that the QML also is going to help you. You know when they are going to trap and when they are not going to trap people. So, the market creates this uh, range, then market come inside to come and seek the level where there's the liquidity, where there is, let's say, a demand area, then market start doing what? Start buying. So let me draw it for you guys properly so that you can see because some people they expect QML to be a perfect picture. Uh, in case you don't understand, is market cannot only give you a perfect picture like the way we are drawing it. But as long as you understand the concept, you understand how is the market working and this thing is going to be very, 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 very powerful for you. So let's say market is already created something like this, then make a higher point. So when markets, let's say when markets want to retrace, uh, example, example of this is going to be something like this. Uh, let's say we break structure, then market do something like this. So we know already where is our range from here, as you remember the way I teach on the range side. So this is the law, and where market is going to create the I, that is going to be our II. So what do we expect next? We are expecting market to come and seek for the liquidity because here this is where we had a break of structure. Please guys pay attention to the way I explain so that you know how they are trapping people. Then from here, market is gonna come to come and seek for a liquidity. This liquidity, the one that was resting here or a block, then market gets inside this range. You see, because this is where the original movement started. This one was just after they break this structure, then market get to a point, let's say like this, then market starts pushing to the upside, you can push whatever you want, then market break that eye. So when market break this eye, what do you wait next? There is people that they're gonna say, market is gonna give them a break, retest and continuation, something like this. So market has to do uh, a sort of like this, this is what they expect from here, then market push to the upside. So this is why people do, they, they, they expect. Then at the end of the day, realize market just come and give you something like this. Market break. So when market break this area, then you as a trader, what do you have to wait for? Is let me reduce this one. What do you, you, you have to wait for is to see, okay, since market is already break this ILO, I get now a confirmation of saying, market, you wanna do what? It wanna, it wanna sell, because this is the confirmation for me, because this was the last ILO that gave me this uh, uh, IRI. And you know how many people that was expecting to come and, and buy from here? Let's say they buy from here and make the market go again to the upside from this area, go like this. How many people? This is what happened like every single day in the market. The only thing to avoid losing money 
in this case is for you to wait when market gets on this area to see the reaction. How is the market reacted to a demand zone? Then from there, you know if you can take your trade or not. There is people that they say market is following my order flow because here I have an order. Market can mitigate the area. And here again, the same thing. So I'm going to wait to buy again from here. Then I continue following structure or following the order flow. No, it's not like that. You need to see how market is reacting. And the QML, let's say sometimes the QML, what you're going to see the QML is going to do. It's either QML is just going to come. Market just get here because we have the SR flip or the breakup. Then market drop again. Let's say drop again somewhere here. But the only thing that you need to understand in this case is just that where is the orders? They are creating liquidity for them to push again price to the upside so that they can do what? They can sell at this area here. If there is a decision point, this is where you see market is going to sell exactly from there. If there is an hidden base, if there is no hidden base, let's say if there is a drop, base drop, market is gonna is gonna sell from here or what you're gonna see sometimes is market is just gonna do give you like a candlestick that goes to the upside let me do something like this goes to the upside because we have let's say a supplier level somewhere here but all the body just close here you see the body close here the body close here and the weak touch this area on top they mitigate two uh two uh decision point at the same time then market is just gonna get there then sell let's say if you want to wait for confirmation in the low time frame then if you you watch the video about the um, the micro and micro zone you understand that let's say if you find the decision point here is on daily you move to h1 then you go to m5 so for you to be able to catch the the entry then you're gonna wait for a confirmation something like this then you target this low. This one is going to act as a liquidity that was being created for market to do what? To come and sell from this QML. So you can also see a QML that only gets straight from here. If there is no order there, then market did what? Sell straight. This is the bearish QML. It's the same thing that apply also to the bullish QML. And the bullish QML, I'm just going to draw it first. The bullish QML is something like this. Market just goes up, come down, break the area. Then we return from here. Then we go to the upside. It's the same logic. Same logic, same concept, same logic. I'm going to show you guys different, um, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, example for you guys to, to, to be able to get it. And in short, if you want to look also at the QML, you need to understand that the QML is the same thing, like we, the one we call break, retest, and continuation. But you need to understand where exactly there is orders that market is going to seek. Because if you don't understand about the QML, and you see, let's say there is a block here, you're going to see someone is going to expect market to buy here. Again, it's going to expect market to buy here. But if you know my order is here, then this is why you are going to do it. You are going to take... Your entry from there for you to be able to go if you to the upside there is another type of qml the one we call the mpl king let's say market goes to the upside like this market come down push up trap all the people then get here create something like this let's say they create something like this then they drop so you as a trader what is your job now your job now from here is to see where is this eye you see this higher point i'm gonna write for you this higher point is gonna be still your valid zone and this area where market manipulated this zone here is the one we call the mpl king then you need to wait for market to return back market is gonna return back let's say create something like this maybe a 3d then get at the same level then drop again so this also can happen and there is one question most of the people they always ask do you check the body or do you check the wig? According to me, I, I, I check most of the time body, but I also apply the wig. Why I'm applying all of them too is because sometimes you're going to see, I also check the, 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 the how big, big is the wig. Let's say this wig. This is where there was all the orders. And I compare 
where is the decision point on the other side? I don't only follow the body, I can also follow the weak. Why? Because I see uh, aligned with the weak, this is why maybe there is SSR, this is why maybe there is the orders, because I want to see the order somewhere here that was resting for my kid to come and seek that one. This is why you see you have the QML here and for people that they try to put a small stop loss, then market eat your stop loss, then goes again your way. This is why like if you trade supply and demand, what we advise people is your stop loss must be above the IRI. This is the IRI. So it can be 15 to 30 pips. And for people that they like to reduce uh, their, their stop loss, this is why you need to wait for market to take out this low. When market take out this low, then you wait for market to retest to the upside so that you can take. When you are taking, this is the low time frame, let's say M5, then when you take your trade there, it either can be 5 pips or maybe 10, 2, whatever, how you are comfortable with your trades. And from here, if you are taking the entry, most of the time, it will always be maybe 15 to 30 pips most of the time because your stop loss has to sit there we are working for us to see money we are not working for us to impress that i'm gonna catch two pips i'm gonna catch one or whatever but as long as you are consistent in what you are doing that is the best things you can do for your own trading so i hope guys you you understand what i was trying to explain like i do look the way the chart is looking and I look where there is orders. So when I see where there is orders, this is where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place my QML. It either is going to be a week or it either is going to be a body. But I do look from what the market is showing me. I'm reacting to what market is showing me. I'm not going to come here and tell you, no, you must only use the body and don't use the week. No, you need to understand when to use the week and when to use the body. But from the example I'm going to show you guys here, I hope you are going to understand these things. So without taking time, let me check on the, on the chat. Uh, let's say example, this one, this is NASDAQ. And also the, another thing is sometimes you need to check also the timing of when the market is happening, uh, when is the order being mitigated. You need to look at all those stuff. So if you check from here, you see the way market was going to the upside, the market created this eye. So according to me, this one become my higher point. Let me just write the name because I did not write the other side. This is the higher point. This is the higher point. And I, I need to see what is my, my, uh, my low point. I'm gonna tell you guys, this is my low point because this is where market make a stop. And if you check where market make a stop, is where we have a demand area. This is the area where we have a demand. Market make a stop at the demand area. And for people that are trading this other strategy called the HLZ stuff, you're gonna see, it's gonna tell you this is a demand area and this one become the SDE when market break it. So today, since we are talking about the QML, just take the way it is. Then the other time when I'm explaining about the SDE, this is also, I'm gonna put that one also in, in place for you to look and what you have to look. That one is what we call the IRI. So when market creates the IRI, in terms of QML, what do you wait for? We are waiting for market to create a lower low. And the lower low was being created somewhere here. That is where we created the lower low. Do you see what happened here? This is where we have a demand after we break this eye. This is where we have a demand area. This is where most of the people, they will wait for market to come and start buying again. But the manipulation happened from this area. But check when market manipulate this area, market push to the upside, then create this eye. So this eye now is going to act as a liquidity for them to do what? For them to sell. Because most of the people, what they said from here is market break, we break, retest let me just uh, zoom it a bit so you guys can see most of the people what they expected is okay we need to come to this area because this is where market break a demand then a demand become a supplier where we have a flip is on so market has to come and react to this area for them to do what to come and and sell they sell just small to trap more people with more liquidity than 
check what happened. Someone got already a right direction of what market is doing, then market get there where there was an order. I told you guys about the order. If you know about supply and demand, you understand that this is a rally. Market create a base. The one I always say the base ignore because what we expected, let me mark this area. What we expected for the first time was market supposed to come here and buy from this zone. So let's say market supposed to do something like this. Bruh and push to the upside. But check this clean break. What do you expect? We are expecting market to return back to that zone so that markets can do it, can get here and start selling. This is what we expect in the market. Then market get here, market give you a nice drop. You see, a nice drop. But because they have another holder on top here, but you need to check also the timing. This was, uh, I think, is, is uh, already after the kill zone and other stuff. But check what happened. They come and mitigate this area. If in front of the computer, I can take this trade. This is why I like about supply and demand because you can take trades anytime, anywhere, and whatever you want, you can take your entry. Then market gets here. Market sold so huge. This is the way market sold. And the next day, market starts doing what? Buying, buying, buying. And this was, I think, at night again. And check what happened because this was already close to the Asian range. And check the way market went to the upside to come and seek already this order was here again at night so you could take that area that the entry but if you want to put your Asian range you're gonna say all this happened inside my Asian range so this is the first example of the bearish QML I'm gonna show you guys again another example of bullish QML where you're gonna see it's just a bit tricky but if you understand it you understand it I explained to you guys about the MPL King. What what is the MPL King? I I draw something uh, something like this. Let's say market just get here. Market push to the upside. Market come down. Then uh, market let's say it makes something like this here. Then uh, boom, boom go to the upside. Then you see market return again inside this zone just to get the order. This one is the one we call the MPL King and this is most of the time where they always manipulate orders for people just to get confused. So when they come back, they're going to look for where market was doing these things for them to do it, to take the entry. If we can check here, market was coming to the downside, been selling so huge, then get at this point, give us a face rejection, then push to the upside. When we push to the upside, we know already what is going to happen. This is what? A supplier level. Then market react to a supplier level. If you want, you can even do something like this. Market react to a supplier level. Then drop all the way to the downside. Break this low. They took liquidity of the previous low. Then they create a lower low. So let me write again for you. This is the low. Then we have the higher point. Then we have the lower low. So when we have the lower low, what do you wait next? We are waiting for market to go and create the higher high. This is our higher high. So when market is creating the higher high, the next thing is gonna be is gonna be a reaction at our QML level. But if you check in this case, do you see this rejection here? The one I call the footprint. This is our. This is our. Uh, demand zone cause this demand zone there is more buy pressure from this can from this week here and this is why you see markets come back to this area then check what happened here how did you see this manipulation all these things that happened here how do you see it so here already people what they will say this is their block they will do what they will buy from here and I remember I saw even people that they bought here here so you see people bought here then market went with them to the upside let me try to change these things why is I need to have New York no wonder that side chose crazy because the time I was giving was in South Africa time do you see this was London almost after 45 minutes after London then markets come to this one and react why I like to see market playing on New York, more special when I trade these indices, I try to look more 
on the on the New York Open and half past eight and half past nine, try to see what is going to happen in the market. Do you see half past eight? So the half past nine market lie to people like is buying, then they react to this area. If you want, you're gonna tell yourself we have another small QML, we have the I, we have the low, then we have what you see here, the higher I, then we have the lower low. Then we expected market to do it, to return back to this area for them to do, to sell. Then market gets onside the zone, check the way we sold. So crazy to come to this area, half past nine. Half past nine, correct the demand level, liquidity was being created for them to come and buy from our uh, QML. Then we are buying for us to do it, to push to the upside. And see the way it take over after buying from there. Do you see the way it went to the upside? It went almost, uh, let me see the pips, just by understanding the price and by understanding the logic, almost 860 pips. You just understand what is happening and where market is gonna seek next. So this is supposed to be your entry. This is how you're supposed to look for the market. You're not gonna look for an entry from here because this one was being created with the purpose of trapping people that they are going to rush uh, this market. Let me show you, I think again on H1, uh, another one on H1 that you can see. The QML is like everywhere. There is a different type of QML that you have to look like every single day in the market. And there's also a powerful things that you wanna look at for you to get your best reversal point. Check like in this case. Do you see, we have the QML. This is the QML area. So like, let's say if you have the like, uh, something like this, weak and body, this can be your zone where you have to look for the QML. Depend on your confidence. If you wanna check from here, you can check from there. And you also realize, okay, let's say in this case, the zone was so big, you cannot come and put a stop loss here. This is gonna be maybe plus 200. Then what you have to understand is, you wait in the area for confirmation for you to be able to do it, to take the entry. In this case, I'm gonna show you guys how you're supposed to wait for your confirmation and you take your entry. This is the QML level. But check when market creates this eye, sorry, this low, we create the eye, we create the lower low. What do you wait next? We are waiting for market to create the higher eye. Then market get on this area, come down, manipulate this area, did not break the first higher point. It come back to collect their orders because here there is an order, then they push more to the upside. So we know already, market has already done something, and this is our line where we have to wait for market to come and buy. We know this zone, even all the manipulation that happened, we know something is going to happen. And this is what end up happening. So then, let's say this is the, the area market is reacting to us. So what do we have to wait? If we go to low time frame, what are you gonna see from here? You're just gonna see market was giving you something like this. You see, this is what market was giving you. Then what do you need to wait now from here is, what is the last point that market has to break for me to get the confirmation that I'm gonna buy? Let's say if you are in, H, uh, M15 or M5. This is the last point that market break for it to give you a confirmation of saying, I wanna buy. Then you need to, to identify where is your decision point and where is your liquidity. I'm gonna tell you, this was the liquidity that market created inside. You see, this is the liquidity that market created inside. Then market just come. If you go from here, let's say you, 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 you find that decision point there. This is H1. You see, this is the H1 zone. This is my H1 zone all the way. I can say this is my H1 zone. So I'm not going to take a trade like that. Then since I have my micro zone on H1, then I can go straight to, to M15, to M5. I don't even need this other time frame. Try and understand. Where is my decision point? This is now my decision point where I'm going to refine my entry from here. And I'm happy with this one because according to my way of trading, I'm going to say, let me just reduce uh, because of this week. You see the week. I'm going to reduce. Then I put a bit of a stop loss, let's say maybe five pips. Because when you put a stop loss exactly, 
this thing is going to kick you out. Because I'm not going to check the other side. I know I have to check the other side, but what I'm trying to show you guys, how do you get your confirmation? And if you want more confirmation, you can even wait again the other side. Market is going to give you another confirmation for you to be able to do it, um, to, catch, uh, to catch the movement, you see. So if you try to play it, then you're going to see what happened. Do you see what went up? So this is also another type of confirmation that you can get. You doubt that one, you see market break, create liquidity, then you return back to this zone. You see, this is our last zone that could be our perfect entry for us to do it, to catch the movement. It's so simple, guys. You just need to understand where is the QML is. Guys, I have so many um, QML example, and I have another one is here. I'm sure this is going to be the last one on uh, on um, on Nasdaq. Then from here, I'm going to move to let's say to Euro. Uh, sorry, uh, gold and GBP USD. So I'm, I'm I'm trying to show you guys so that you can see that it happened like every single day. You don't have to have only the perfect picture. What people expect, like QML, is just going to be something like this, straight to the point and come back. No, it's not like that. QML is something else. QML can come in, in, in a way that maybe sometimes you confuse yourself. Like let's say in this case here, this is what we call the MPL. We have the MPL. MPL is here. Market created the MPL. Then if you check on this one, what do you see? Do you see what is happening? This is the QML. This is the orders. This is the orders on the MPL where they manipulated this zone. And check the reaction. Check the reaction. Do you see the reaction there? Do you see the reaction? Market just get there because this is going to be our zone. This area is the one that is going to be our zone for us to do it, to come and focus on the entry. But as long as you understand where is your QML level, you know market is going to come back to come and direct to it. All this, it's just a bunch of liquidity that has been created for them to come back and mitigate the area and buy. You see, we create a low, we create a high, lower low. This is the higher point inside this range. Then inside this range, we seek for liquidity. Where is all the liquidity? Where is the place where there is orders for us to be able to come and collect the orders? This is what happened here. Imagine again, if you could catch just this QML, what you supposed to make? Do you see? How much you supposed to make? And imagine buying from here up until the top. This is 1,000, almost 1,000 pips, guys. Almost 1,000 pips. So you could get the entry from there just to push. So this is how you need to, do to work on the QML. Let me show you again more example. I'm sure on Nasdaq it's done. Okay, there is one is here down. There is one is here down. And I like the QML because it's a good signal for the reversal. A reversal point. Because in this one, I show so many reversal points on, on the QML. Do you see market was selling, doing whatever it was doing. Then here we have market create a low. Market create a high. We break. Then we break this level. So what most of the people do say? What is uh, smart money people they'll say? We have a break and retest. Let's say this one, if you are trading ICT style, what you're going to say to yourself is just that, okay, I have my um, my uh, FEG, the one that is there. After break of structure, market return, then I'm flying. But the only thing that you need to understand is just that this area was being created so that when they come back to this zone, they're going to do what? They're gonna do what they're gonna they're gonna come and buy as a valid zone as a valid zone for them to do what uh to come and to come and buy from this area because when you have a qml you need just to understand that okay, i have a qml then you need to monitor your trade and you need to monitor your orders because this is your order the item base is there this one was being just created so that people they can come and react to this area as we're gonna buy from here to go to the upside but check what happened they come fill this uh inefficient price the one that was there goes to the upside then market gives you a correction like the abc the one i showed last time 
the ABC like a correction movement, then here market react, then you fly again to the upside. Now imagine just by buying from here, how many pips you could make. I'm not even gonna calculate it because it was fucking crazy. So uh, let me go to another video, another way. This is um, this is gold. Let me see on gold. Okay, this is gold. Gold. I'm just gonna show you guys two. Then I'll move to GBP USD. Do you see on gold? Same logic, same topic. Everything is the same. It's happened over and over and over. Do you see, guys? It's happened again. This is my zone of a QML. Start from the body until my week. This is my zone where I'm looking for me to do it, to comment and buy. But in this case, what I, I did understand here, this is the first time where we had the pressure and this one was just a manipulation of this area. Then market created. If you go to low time frame again from this area only alone, you're gonna see there is another QML from this area alone because we created a law. The market come and run. There is what we call a QM, uh, quick QM. So the quick QM is something like this: market create a law, market push, create a high. Then market went to the upside, then come back from here, then test. So this is the one we call a quick QML. Then do you see what happened here? Then we take over. So if we go again uh, to this zone, this is the one I took. I took this entry. For people that are in the public group, you guys knows I took this entry uh, of, this, uh, of this QML. You see what happened here? Again, the QML is here. This is, was my reason of me taking this buy. I took the buy here because of this area. And you guys knows I took the buy. So I hope I'm going to show you guys my, uh, my buy from there. So let me show you guys. Uh, I'm just going to look for it now so that you understand that I took the buy. But I waited for a bit of confirmation before I took uh, 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 that, that, uh, that buy. So I'm going to show you what happened and why I took the entry there. Because in the low time frame market was just, you know, moving around up and down, up and down. Then I end up deciding, you know what? Uh, I'm not just gonna. Uh, okay, so is this one? Mm, let me do something like this. Just bear with me. Um, okay. okay. So let me reduce my screen so that you guys can see this other one. Do you see? So this is where I took my entry. You see why I took my entry on M15. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I use the QML, the line of a QML, then how I end up making my decision based on what I look at the market. So this is, this is the QML area. Then I saw here, I was in M15 after H1. Then I end up taking my entry from here. This is why I took my entry. And the reason of me taking the entry is because I saw this bearish candlestick, the, 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 the engulfing candlestick. This candlestick engulfed this one. So I know when I have something like this, market is going to come back to come and try to test this area. So this is why I end up taking my entry. Because here there was too much noise. I didn't want to take the entry straight from there. But I could snipe it from here, but I end up saying, okay, let me wait for a bit of confirmation and uh, try to see. I don't know why these things keep on changing the time. So then uh, I end up saying, okay, this is the area. Let me wait a bit. Then I could wait until I just decide, okay, you know what? On London, I did not see something proper, but this one, let me take it. Then after that, my kid just went crazy with me all the way. Imagine from my entry, I could be able to make this pip. Then I closed this trade on Friday. So this was one of the QML. And um, as you can check, it's the same. This is a QML reversal. Then let us go to GBP USD because here there are so many QML. Most special start from the previous week. 
QML happen here like you don't even wanna know. So let me start with the first one. The first one is from here. It's the one we call the QMC. It's like a QML continuation. Q QMC is the QML continuation because it is inside the range. Market created it and come back to come and fit it. The same logic I told you guys. In this case, what I saw was the week. Then there was an SSR. So market just come to fill that area. Then we go to the downside. We have the I, low, I, I, low, low, then market return. As I told you guys, stop loss where it has to be. It depend on um, it depend on how how the holder is. Let's say this one was just like 14 pips. It is in my range. I can take it without even issue. So even if this one just come, you know, this one come just to kick everyone that was here. But if you wanted for more precision then you could use this last candlestick to be as your order because of the footprint on the candlestick, the one that was there, that rejection. Then uh, if you go again a bit down, a bit down here, then this is where you're going to see also a lot of QML, all the QML points that was happening here. Let's say from this one, let me zoom again. So you're gonna see you can just be a, a trader who's trading QML and still making a lot of cash. Just uh, this one's on M15, not H1. Let me go to M15. This I saw so many QML, so many of them on GBPUSD. Do you see what is happening here? We push to the upside, the SR flip was here, then this SR flip become what do you call SSR. SSR is a significant support and resistance. We have a support, we have a resistance, we break, we have again support, we break. Since we break the last support, what do you expect next? We expect market to come and trade from the SSR line. But what do you have there? We have the IDEN base. I line with what? With our SSR. Do you see what is happening? I, low, I, I, low, low, the market return. Again, liquidity, FTR, this one failure to return there. It's called liquidity. Again, what you see, you're gonna tell yourself, ah, why is this one is the QML? Yes, it's the QML, it's the QMC, it's the QML continuation. We have the QML, where we have a QML reverser, then we have a QMC, I, low, I, I, market created liquidity, lower low, then, you see? I'm sure that one must be something like, a, yeah, half past eight, New York exactly correct time that I normally trade. We get there and then we solve this huge. Another QML, you see this one was a very quick QML. The one I was telling you guys, quick QML. We have I, low, I, I, lower, low. If we check here, they break it with only the weak, the one we call the pin engulf, return back, test the zone, then drop. Again, same story happened here. This is just for quick, if you wanna make a quick box for you to be able to get it. I, low, you see, I, low, I, I, low, low, quick retest, then drop. This is a QML reversal. This is a QML reversal. We have the week, we have orders. You see these orders, week to week, then market return. Because of the demand, the one that was there, market return, create a liquidity, then market fly to the upside. So guys, I show you so many different uh, story when you come to the QML, what you have to look at. I know there is a lot of them. There is a lot of them on the chat. And well, I give you also how you can take the entry, what confirmation you have to wait for. So what I need from you guys is before I give you the next video is you need to send me at least 10 example of a QML that you find on the chart. The moment you go to the chart, you identify, you identify the QML. You train your eyes to see them. Believe me, it's gonna be very easy for you when you're sitting in front of your computer and when you open your chart, you are going to be able to see it and say, okay, yeah, this is a QML, then let me take it. The moment you don't do that, the moment you don't practice, the moment you don't go to the chart and try to look, what is happening in the chat? Believe me, it's gonna be a big, 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 big problem. 
so i hope this video is gonna make sense to you guys because qml is one of our best strategy one of best entry that we look at plus confirmation and align with our structure with our range for us to be able to do it to catch the movement so i hope guys you're gonna enjoy rest tuned for the next video i'm gonna make another video then um, then we are gonna cover all the mentorship so enjoy guys sharp sharp